At one time, there was a film, Ridley and Scott from the Kingdom of Heaven with Orlando Bloom in the title role. The screenwriters of the film were extremely free to describe the historical events that preceded the Third Crusade. For the sake of drama, events, chronology, characters and motives were seriously changed. But today, we are not interested in history. In one of the scenes of the film, the great conqueror Saladin offers the European knights a goblet of ice. The question is where in the 12th century it was possible to get ice in the middle of the Judean desert. Despite the free treatment of facts, this is not a blunder at all. On the contrary, historians have no doubts about the possibility of Muslims having ice. The technology for producing and storing ice in the desert was invented by the ancient Persians around the 5th century BC. For this, the most complex engineering systems were used. One of these was a yacht. Today, this word is used in Iran and Afghanistan to call an ordinary refrigerator, but in the old days it was a whole building. The design of the Persian Yakchal consists of two main elements, a large cellar that goes into the ground for 5-10 meters and a conical roof that covers it. The largest and most elaborate Persian refrigerators may have been connected to underground sewers. In addition, each Yakchal had a badger, special ventilation to remove move warm air and maintain the correct temperature balance. An aqueduct led to the refrigeration unit through which water was supplied to the actual for freezing. As a rule, the aqueduct was pulled from west to east. This was done so that the water was in the shade and began to cool even before it hit the yacht. In addition to many well thought out architectural solutions, the correct operation of the actual was also ensured by the special building materials that were used for its construction. The walls were laid out of adobe bricks made from clay soil and straw. After that, the walls of the yacht were covered with a layer of a special waterproof mixture sorge. The sore kept the water from soaking into the brick and caused it to roll back into the vault as it attempted to evaporate. Sorge was needed from sun, clay, lime, goat hair, egg white and ash. Thanks to all this, the air temperature inside the yacht was always no noticeably lower than the air temperature outside. During the summer, the storage facility allowed for the storage of ice throughout the season, and during the cold season, the air temperature inside became low enough so that the complex could also produce ice right on the spot from the water that flowed through the aqueduct. When the new yacht was put into operation, the owners brought in wild ice mined in the nearby mountains, brought and folded into refrigerators, ice made it possible to significantly reduce the temperature inside the room. Further, the process of production and storage of ice was supported automatically. The main thing was not to use too much ice at a time, to supply water on time, and not to disturb the temperature balance. Of course, in those days, the ice from the yachts was not available to everyone. The production and storage of ice was serious business. Only representatives of the privileged classes, as well as the wealthiest merchants and artisans, could afford to buy ice. One can